supply that we need. In an effort to create more housing near Metro, Councilmember Hans Reamer has introduced a bill with Councilmember Andrew Friedson that would make this proposition more enticing for developers. It's challenging to do development, especially in this environment now. We want development and housing to help lead us out of the recession into recovery, and this legislation is going to help do that. At the Flores Glen Metro station in Silver Spring, Reamer and supporters of the bill outlined why this proposal to encourage high-density housing construction at metro stations is part of the solution in solving this county's housing crisis. The problem is, if you turn around here, you see a surface parking lot. And if you go to most metro stations in Montgomery County, you're going to see surface parking lots and parking garages where we should have high-rise housing. The problem is the market is not working to support the development of new high-rise housing. And we have got to change the game for development in metro sites because if there is one place that we can all agree we want as much housing as possible, it is on top of a metro station. But when we talk about smart growth development, we talk about transit-oriented development, that doesn't happen by chance, it happens by choice. It happens by government and private sector joining together in collaboration and in partnership to figure out how we can make these deals possible. Under the proposal, the high-rise housing would be built on WMATA property, like the parking area at the Forest Glen Metro Station, and would require payment in lieu of taxes that would exempt the developer from property tax for 15 years. The legislation could produce as many as 8,600 new housing units, including over 1,000 for the county's affordable housing stock. This proposal will bring about 1,200 to 1,400 units of affordable housing when it's realized. And so that is us fulfilling or at least working towards our commitment here in Montgomery County. Council members were joined by members of the Sierra Club, Coalition for Smarter Growth and the Friends of Forest Glen. I'm extremely excited about Council Member Reamer's proposed legislation. All who support this project and its goals to grow our housing base and promote affordability while addressing climate change. We're catalyzing a market. We are helping transform an area where today I think in some metro areas you see that the metro site is almost a donut hole of development. We want it to be the catalyst for development. We want the tall buildings to be going up on the metro sites, proving the market, leading to more development around there. That's how we're going to create the walkable, bikeable, transit oriented future. It's not about whether we can afford to do it, it's whether we can afford not to do it. The climate can't afford to wait, our housing targets can't afford to wait, our economic development potential can't afford to, to wait. We have to make the choices today and not leave these things to chance. And that's what this proposal is all about. The measure will be up for public hearing July 28th with a vote expected this fall. Reporting from Silver Spring, I'm Susan Kennedy.